Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again after months of spouting gibberish. The data streamed onto the screen at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and a chilling silence fell over the room. It was supposed to be gibberish, a technical glitch from the aging Voyager 1 probe, which is now over 15 billion miles away. The spaceship left the solar system in 2012 and is currently more than 15 billion miles from Earth. But the AI they used to decode it revealed something else entirely. It wasn't a glitch. For the first time, the jumbled data formed a clear repeating pattern. A pattern that is profoundly unnatural. Scientists are now faced with a terrifying reality. Something in the interstellar void has taken notice of our lonely messenger and it has sent a reply. A garbled cry from the void. For nearly half a century, Voyager 1 has been our silent eyes and ears in the great dark expanse beyond our solar system. Launched in 1977, this marvel of human engineering is now more than 15 billion miles away from us. Think about that for a second. Light itself, the fastest thing in the universe, takes over 22 hours to travel from Voyager 1 back to Earth. It's so far out that it has officially crossed the heliopause, leaving the sun's protective magnetic bubble and entering the true wilderness of interstellar space. For 46 years, it has been faithfully sending back data, painting a picture of the cosmos we could only dream of. But not all things are what they seem. In late 2023, that faithful stream of data stopped making sense. You see, the probe communicates through its flight data system, or FDS. This system takes all the information from the scientific instruments, bundles it up, and sends it back home in binary code, a simple language of ones and zeros. But suddenly, the FDS started sending gibberish. Instead of neat packages of data, NASA was getting a chaotic alternating pattern of ones and zeros that meant nothing. It was like a phone call with a friend where all you can hear is static and garbled noise. The engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory were stumped. They tried the oldest trick in the book. They told the FDS to turn itself off and on again but a command that takes over 22 hours to arrive and another 22 hours to confirm makes for a very slow tech support call. Days turned into weeks and the nonsense data kept pouring in. Many people were getting worried this was the end of the line for the legendary probe. The thing nobody tells you is that NASA has been developing something new in the background a powerful artificial intelligence designed specifically for deep space communication. It's an AI that can see patterns in chaos, a machine that can find a needle in a cosmic haystack. With all other options exhausted, they decided to feed Voyager's jumbled signal into this new system, hoping it could spot a clue, maybe a hint of what went wrong. But what the AI found wasn't a malfunction, it wasn't a hardware failure. The AI sifted through the noise and isolated a signal buried deep inside the transmission. A signal that was structured, complex, and absolutely not man-made. The garbled mess wasn't a glitch. It was a mask hiding something else. The scientists were looking at a message and the contents of that message sent a shockwave of fear through the entire organization. What the AI found has been classified at the highest levels. Is something else controlling Voyager 1? So what could possibly be so terrifying that it would shake the foundations of NASA? Many people are crazy about the idea of finding alien life, but the reality might be far more unsettling than we ever prepared for. You see, the signal the AI isolated wasn't a friendly hello. The insiders who have leaked whispers of this story say the AI identified the pattern as a mimic. It was a complex signal that mirrored the structure of a biological life form's neural network. It was as if the probe had flown through some kind of living entity in the vacuum of space. Or worse, that something had attached itself to Voyager 
using its systems to send a message back home. Think about the golden record, that famous gold-plated phonograph record we attached to Voyager 1. It was a message in a bottle, a greeting to any civilization that might find it. It contained sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. We sent out a map of our location, sounds of whales, a baby crying, music from Bach and Chuck Berry. It was a beautiful, hopeful gesture from humanity, a beacon of peace from a tiny blue world. For decades, it was a one-way message, but now it seems we may have gotten a reply. The problem is the reply isn't from a civilization of builders or explorers. The reply is from something different, something that doesn't build ships, but is the ship. The thing is, the message wasn't in a language of words. It was a stream of pure biological information. The AI's initial translation was a complex map of what appeared to be a vast, interconnected consciousness. It described a form of life that is not based on planets or stars, but one that lives and thrives in the freezing, empty void between them. The data suggested this entity was ancient, vast, and had been dormant for eons. But our little probe, with its tiny electrical signals and its strange golden disk, may have just woken it up. The terror among the scientists isn't just that we found life, it's that we found something so utterly alien and powerful that we can't possibly comprehend it. And we led it right to our doorstep. The message contained a warning, a sign that we are not alone. The Great Filter. Is this what stops all civilizations? Let's talk about the Fermi Paradox. It's the famous question. If the universe is so vast with billions of stars and planets, where is everybody? Why haven't we heard from anyone? One of the most chilling potential answers is something called the Great Filter. This is a theory that suggests there is some kind of wall or barrier that all civilizations hit, a point where they either destroy themselves or are snuffed out by some external force before they can become interstellar. For a long time, we hoped that maybe the Great Filter was behind us, that the emergence of life itself was the hard part. But Voyager's message suggests a horrifying alternative. What if the Great Filter is still ahead of us? And what if it's not a wall, but a predator? The data decoded by the AI paints a picture of a universe that is not empty, but is instead teeming with life we can't see. Forms of energy and consciousness that exist in the dark matter and dark energy that make up most of our reality. These beings, as described in the fragmented data, are not interested in communication or culture. They are ancient, patient, and they see emerging civilizations like ours as a potential threat, or worse, as a source of energy. The scientists at NASA are terrified because the Voyager message wasn't a greeting, it was a notification. It was the universe's immune system noticing a new bacteria, us. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that the final part of the decoded message was a resonance frequency. It was a specific energy signature that matched almost perfectly the energy output of our own sun. The AI predicts that the message wasn't just a map of this entity, it was a targeting solution. By sending our probe out there, by broadcasting our existence on the golden record, we didn't just say hello, we rang the dinner bell. The scientists are now wrestling with an impossible choice. Do they announce their findings and cause a global panic, or do they keep it a secret and try to figure out a defense against something they can't even understand? They are caught between a rock and a hard place, and the fate of our world might just hang in the balance. Our quiet universe just got a whole lot louder and scarier. The thing we awoke in the darkness. So what happens now? Do we just sit and wait for the other shoe to drop? The thing is, when you're faced with a potential threat of this magnitude, the old rule book gets tossed right out the window. The official story that NASA settled on is almost insultingly simple. After months of receiving garbled nonsense from Voyager 1, they announced they found the problem, a single flipped bit. 
a tiny piece of corrupted memory on a computer chip designed and built in the 1970s, now floating 15 billion miles away from Earth. They located this one faulty bit, developed a clever workaround, beamed it across the solar system in a 22-hour journey, and just like that, everything was fixed. But are we supposed to believe that? It feels too neat, too clean. It's like your house burns down and the expert tells you it was all because of a single loose screw and a light switch. It just doesn't sit right. Many people are crazy about technology, but even they would tell you that a 46-year-old piece of hardware bombarded by cosmic radiation for decades doesn't usually fail in such a simple, elegant way. Failures are catastrophic, messy, and often final. The idea that a team of engineers could perform such delicate, long-distance surgery on a relic of the past stretches belief to its breaking point. This isn't just a scientific curiosity anymore, it's a matter of global security. The fact that this information is being so tightly controlled tells you everything you need to know. Think about it. The moment that AI translation came through, the one revealing not a glitch but a structured biological mimic, the conversation changed. This was no longer a job for JPL engineers in lab coats. This was a job for shadowy figures in windowless rooms at the Pentagon, at the CIA, at the NSA. All of this is happening behind closed doors. The official story of the flipped bit feels less like a technical report and more like a press release designed to calm everyone down. It's the story they want us to believe a comforting bedtime story to prevent a worldwide panic while they figure out what to do next. Because the thing nobody tells you is that they aren't just fixing a probe. They're trying to understand an enemy. They aren't just hiding a message. They are preparing for what comes next. The burden of a terrible truth. But what does preparing even mean when you're dealing with a potential cosmic horror? It's a chilling thought. We, the average people, are just going about our daily lives, worried about filling the gas tank, getting the kids to school, and what to watch on TV tonight. Our world is small and immediate. Meanwhile, a handful of people in windowless rooms might be staring at data that suggests a silent, terrifying countdown has already begun. They hold a secret that could shatter our world in an instant. This is where the story moves from the halls of science into the real world, our world. The real question is, what would you do? Do you tell the world that our hopeful message in a bottle was answered by a monster from the deep? The result would be chaos. Or do you keep it a secret bearing that terrible burden while you work in the shadows? It's an impossible choice, but what if the choice itself is a trap? Some of the wilder theories floating around in the back channels suggest the message isn't a simple warning. It's a carefully designed psychological weapon. The thing nobody tells you is that this entity might not just be a predator of bodies, but a predator of minds. What if it sent a signal it knew we would interpret as a threat? It wants us to panic. It wants us to build new powerful weapons and broadcast stronger, more desperate signals. It's baiting us, encouraging us to light up like a Christmas tree in the cosmic dark so it can find us more easily. Our frantic efforts to defend ourselves might be the very thing that rings the dinner bell. Another, even more disturbing theory suggests this isn't the first time. Think about the great, unexplained extinction events in Earth's deep past. What if they weren't caused by asteroids or volcanoes? What if they were scheduled cleansings? This theory proposes that Earth is like a petri dish in a cosmic laboratory, and every few million years, the experiment is wiped clean by something from the outside. Maybe the disappearance of ancient civilizations or the strange sudden silences in the fossil record are evidence of this cycle. If that's true, then NASA didn't make a new discovery. They just found evidence that the cycle is about to begin again. They found the footprint of our planet's recurring nightmare. This journey into the dark has just begun. What do you believe is the truth behind Voyager's message? 
Are we on the verge of a terrifying new reality? Let us know your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more answers to the universe's greatest mysteries.